okay, we're in the default project, and there's a lot of different places you can start. And as you learn more about it, you're probably going to start in different places. For instance, you can start with the hair, with clothing, or you can jump right into sliders if you want and get into shaping the body. And that's what we're going to do. So we're going to take this stock female character, and I'm going to go over here to sliders. And you're not going to have every slider that's listed here. I've got uh, some essentials pack. If you haven't bought it, you're not going to have those. And I've got some of my own personal sliders uh, that I haven't put up for sale that are in here. So you won't have everything, but we won't be using those. But don't expect your menu to match this one. Uh, plus, being customizable, things are going to always be a little different like we discussed in uh, the first episode of this. Anyway, as you get to here, there's one thing you can do. And what I want to do just to show you how it works is I'm going to reset. You notice I'm on full body. And that's just going to bring the body back to neutral. And what we're going to do is just start adding a little bit of female characteristics to it as we go down from some of all of them. And this is arbitrary. You can add whatever you want on yours. Now you'll also notice, uh, you know, you can go to uh, arm, hand, chest, and do all kinds of things. Now, like bust size, if it starts off too big, you can always put in a negative on a lot of things. Doesn't mean it's going to look good, but let's put in a negative 20. And even though the slider won't go there, you can change some things like that. So it doesn't always mean you're limited to just what the slider is. Now we're not going to go through all of these because these are things that you need to go through and click on for yourself. You can see here with cheek and things like that, we can come in here and have a lot of different variations just by that. And that's all these different sliders are, is they're morphs that will just change the shape of the body. Now, not everything listed, uh, like clothing, is going to have sliders. But, things like the eye will have sliders. And like the teeth, you know, bottom teeth lengthen, top teeth lengthen. So, you want to make sure that you check them all, so that you don't miss anything. Now, we're not, again, we're not going to go over uh, every slider here. But you can also come here directly and make some changes and do some shaping just by grabbing the areas that highlight when you mouse over them. You can shorten arms and lengthen arms that way instead of using this over here or you can go up and down to make them wider. Sometimes you can get some strange results but it's just a way to directly manipulate things. Now one feature that helps us keep track of what we're doing here are the currently used sliders. You click on them and that will have the sliders that you have used or that you have moved uh, to shape this character the way it is right now. So that just helps us to keep up with all those different changes. Now once you've finished with all your sliders, got a shape like you want it, you're pretty much ready to move on to the next step. That may be hair, maybe clothing, Maybe taking it out into another application, like using GoZ to go into ZBrush, where you can shape it a little further past these sliders. But this is pretty much it for what we can do with the slider section, as far as basics. Now we'll go ahead and move on to the next section. Cause, cause.